This is BJT TV and I'm Charles Alcock. This is the first in our series of video buyer's guides to business aircraft. And we're starting off with the very light jet category. Now when many people think of a very light jet, this is pretty what, much what they have in mind. It's the Eclipse 500. It was, to all intents and purposes, the very first VLJ. It's right behind me. Let's go inside the cabin and see what this is all about. Now the first thing you see when you get inside a very light jet is that, quite frankly, the cabin is a little on the cosy side. There are just 160 cubic feet of space in here. We've got one, two, three, four passenger seats, one seat for the pilot uh, when it's in single pilot operations. There is no separate lavatory. You can't exactly stand up in here. But on the other hand, none of that really matters given that you're barely going to be spending more than 90 minutes mo at most inside the aircraft. The maximum range is about 1,100 nautical miles. And at a price of $2.1 million, this is a pretty affordable entry level to business aviation. But the Eclipse 500 is by no means the only very light jet option out there. Embraer has an aircraft called the Phenom 100. It's priced a little higher, about $3.3 million, but you get a good deal more cabin space, about 305 cubic feet. One very popular choice among the VLJs is Cessna's Citation Mustang. This was the first of the category to complete certification. Priced at $2.8 million, it offers 210 cubic feet in the cabin, and can fly just over 1,000 nautical miles at a top speed of 340 knots. Some customers have said they opted for the Mustang because Cessna has a more established product support record than the other VLJ contenders. Another option in the VLJ category is the brand new Piper Jet, now under development. One of the first things you'll see about this aircraft from the exterior is the fact that it has just one engine, not the usual two. But despite that, the aircraft actually offers a little bit more range than some of the VLJ alternatives at about 1,300 nautical miles. Inside the cabin, you'll notice that there is a bit more legroom between the passenger seats. There is also a separate bathroom located between the main cabin and the cockpit. And all in all, it is somewhat more spacious than your average VLJ fit. At the front of the aircraft, there is a very useful baggage compartment just in front of the cockpit. Well, that concludes our video buyer's guide to the very light jet category of aircraft. But do stay tuned to BJTTV.com for our continuing series of guides to all categories of business aircraft. For BJTTV, I'm Charles Alcock.